During her breaks, this waitress usually checks the news on social media. But on the eve of the presidential vote, Ugandan authorities pulled the plug on messaging platforms. The shutdown comes after Facebook's closure of government accounts on Monday. The tech giant said it had uncovered a network of fake profiles linked to the Ministry of Information. Decisions that have had direct economic consequences on people like this phone credit vendor. I lost uh, a lot of business because I have clients who are very far away from here who just send messages using social media, who just talk to me using social media, and then I get back to them using social media. So right now we can't communicate because they're not with me, because they're not near me and they can't use social media. The blackout has made daily life difficult in a time of crisis. This is the only form of communication with COVID-19 where people can be able to communicate real time about what is happening, where they can communicate with the tally, with the tally centers or with the electro centers or with the helplines and, 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 and places where they can ask for help if anything is happening. With voting now underway, keeping track of developments that could become more difficult for the majority of Ugandans.